Hey guys, how are you? It's your girl Sassy Jane slash Marissa and I'm back with another video. So I know it's been forever guys. Well, I'm so sorry for not being here but I needed a break-ish and I wasn't really inspired but now I know what I want to do which is psychological videos and I don't want to make this intro long. The topic of this video, are you a toxic friend or are you not? It's very important because sometimes we're toxic and we don't even know. I'm doing this accent, I don't know why. Please bear with me sign number one you make more promises than you can keep guys i used to do that too so often when we do that it's because we want to please people and it's normal i don't know it's part of us to want to please people but you have to learn to say no because then you let people down and that's kind of like lame and that's not a good friend move if you can't do something say oh no i'm sorry i can do this for you instead of letting people down and breaking promises and then being like low-key toxic okay sign number two you're defensive and always blaming other people i dislike people like that don't be the type of friend that shuts people down when they try to express their opinion to you. Guys, you all chill, relax. Don't be defensive whenever people want to open up to you and give you like, how do you say that? Constructive criticism. They're your friends. They don't mean to hurt you. So don't be defensive when they try to express their opinion to you because then you're not letting them express themselves and that's kind of toxic. So don't be toxic. Boo. Sign number three, you're overly sensitive. Don't easily get offended at jokes. Understand that people have different opinions. We're raised differently. We grew up in different environments. So obviously our minds and our logic and kind of like our thought process and the way we express ourselves will be different. So just keep that in mind. Be mature, be a critical thinker, and don't easily get offended. But when I speak of being very sensitive, it's more like, did you not like my joke? Was it not funny? Or when your friend doesn't reply to you like two minutes after you send them a text message, and you're like, oh my gosh, are you mad at me? Uh, guys, people don't like being around people like that. So if you're like that, get that in order, okay? I'm saying this for your good. Number four, you're pessimistic. I know it's easy to be pessimistic because life is kind of tough. There's a thin line between being realistic and pessimistic. Often we confuse the two. We think we're being realistic, but we're actually being pessimistic. My advice to you, trying to find the positive in everything. I'm not talking about if you lose someone or if someone around you loses a family member or someone close to them. Be positive, but not toxic positivity. You see, there's a thin line between a lot of things, so finding the right balance is really hard, but when you really work towards it and you're mindful, you can do it. Whenever I'm around pessimistic people, I feel drained, I feel tired, I feel sad, and I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill myself. Don't be that type of person. Okay, sign number five is you rely on other people's validation. So this one is more toxic for yourself than others. And I used to be that way. I used to be such a validation seeker. When I realized it, I was like, oh, wow. Their opinion of me defines the way I see myself. And it took me like about a year and more. And I'm still working towards not caring about other people's opinions and not letting their opinion affect the way I view myself and the way I, I love myself. Like the love I have towards myself and my self-esteem and my self-value and all of it. This is also easier said than done. But all the things I'm telling you right now, it, it's not going to happen overnight. I know we want things to happen quickly but be different it took me a year to really realize that i needed to stop seeking people's validations and really work towards being at a place where i'm i'm good i'm not perfectly good i'm not completely good i'm still working sometimes it still creeps in like me caring about someone's opinion but then i catch myself and you know i get back on track and honestly it was kind of fast and i feel like oh it's already been a year it felt like nothing so guys just invest and you'll see when it becomes a routine it goes quickly it's kind of like everything going to the gym you want to get those abs well you have to be consistent me not talking because i am not consistent i am always looking up two week abs workouts on youtube don't take <laughs> yeah but when it comes to really self-improving and things like that i will be consistent trust me everyone is so unique there's nobody like you which means that there's nobody better than you in a way because who would you compare yourself to if no one's like you? Yeah, when you stop comparing yourself, when you start getting to know yourself and actually finding your value because you have a lot of value. You're worth more than gold and all the money in the world. When you realize that, you start to love yourself truly and people's opinion become less, 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 less important to you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't be toxic, boo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next time.